Hi everyone and welcome to another Call of the Wild tutorial video. Today we're on Silver Ridge Peaks, uh, the new map, and if you haven't downloaded it yet, I highly recommend you do. It is an absolutely fantastic map. Uh, even if you're just starting out, it's actually a good, uh, good one if you're starting out. There's a lot of animals, so it's a nice easy map to start out on. I highly recommend it. But that's not why we're here today. Today we are going to be talking about setting up our inventory. Uh, how to do it, how to take things from our storage, put it into our inventory, how to sort our inventory, and uh, some workarounds. Because if you just started playing the game, this might be really clunky for you. Um, and uh, the user interface is a bit clunky. So we're going to talk about a couple of little tips that we can do to shorten everything up to make your gaming experience just that much better. So let's get into it. So we need to come over to our outpost or if you have a tent and uh, go into our storage locker. And right away when we press square it takes us to the store. And um, now I'm using PS4 controls today but this is good on any platform. Uh, the tips that we're talking about today. Uh, but I use PS4 so when I come in here I press circle right away. Because it sets you right on those rifles and you can't scroll down anything but the rifles. So. Uh, you know, press circle and you can scroll down to whatever you need. Majority of the time I'm just trying to buy some ammunition. So if you notice in the store, it's pretty self-explanatory. When you purchase something, it, you get a check mark. Uh, if you go down to the rifle ammo, we can see there on the right hand side, uh, we have 102 rounds of 223 ammunition, of that type of ammunition. And so it's easy then to see what we have of what now you notice all the ammunition comes in, it says times 10, that means for every unit that you buy, for every $350 uh, dollars that I spend, I get 10 of those rounds of that ammunition. And so you want to keep in track of that, especially when it comes to, for example, uh, the same thing with the scents, but especially when it comes to decoys. So for example, you notice a Canada Goose decoys, you get five of that feeding decoy if you buy it for $4,000. And you can see that I already have 30. So when you purchase it again, it'll go up by another five. So for example, let's uh, purchase another one. And we'll press X. There, so now I go 35. And there we go. So, uh, and anything that you buy, it goes right into your storage on the left hand side here. So we buy something, it goes right into our storage, we own it. With one exception, and that is, sorry, that is with the exception of clothing and backpacks. Anything that you buy with clothing and backpacks goes into your character section. And so if we just click onto there, we'll see uh, you can customize your character at any point in the game. There's no penalty for that. Uh, and when you go in here, you'll notice we can scroll through with the D-pad to our different outfits. Uh, we can go and we can select a backpack and then once again go down and select the color that we want. Now you'll notice with the backpacks, one of the things that happens is while it increases our carrying capacity, it, we also get a penalty. So in this case, or in all the cases it increases your noise and visibility and so the bigger your backpack the more uh, you're seen and the more you're heard so uh, just a tip if you want to carry more I suggest getting the pack mule perk it'll automatically go from the base 20 units to 23 which is just the same as carrying a small backpack but without any penalty so we'll come back to how we can use this little feature later with the backpacks but once again, the, the, for the majority of the time, you won't need anything more than 20 units. So let's go into our storage now. So when you open up your storage, uh, if you're beginning, you won't have much in it. But as you continue to progress and you buy uh, guns and ammunition and bows and such, this is what happens. Goodness me. It is just something to cycle through. And it can be very, very annoying when you're trying to find something. So hopefully uh, the game developers fix this and they revamp this UI a little bit. It would be absolutely fantastic. But in the meantime, this is what we have. 
So one of the little shortcuts I'm going to show you today, the first thing I do is I come in here and I close all of these. So now it's nice and neat and clean. And it's easy for me to select what I want. So we're going to go to weapons first. And uh, for this hunt, uh, I want to select the 4570. I'm going to take an M1 with me. We're going to take, uh, I want a shotgun for turkeys. So we're going to take the 12 gauge. And I want the traditional bow. The long bow is what I want. So I once again, I understand I'm scrolling up. But once again, when you come back in here uh, and you want to just select ammunition, it just makes it that much easier to, to change things around. So now we're going to go to our ammo. Uh, we need the 30-06 ammo for the M1. I always take both kinds of ammo right away. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I want to use the, the one with more expansion. Um, if you look at the ammo weight, it's like 0, .0 of you know, 0 0.03, 0 0.05, it's not really that heavy at all. So we need the 4570. So I always take it right away, that way I don't ever have to come back when I'm when I'm out, maybe I'm far away and I don't have a tent with me and I want to select a different type of ammunition, I just carry what I want right away. And last but not least, we need to get the arrows. There we go. Now, once again, I understand I'm scrolling up, but it saves you later on. Now, one thing I'll note here, and I didn't note it before when we selected our rifles, is uh, when you select uh, anything, you notice there's almost two halves to it. There's there's kind of an imaginary line, if you want to say. Uh, there's what's in our storage or in our locker, and then there's what's in our in what we just put in our inventory. Now, we can use the D-pad and go left and right to select. Um, but you can only do it when you're when you're right beside it, so to speak. So I can't I can't press over to the right. I have to be in line with it. And if I want to get rid of something, all I have to do is just press X. So we're just going to take that out. We'll take both 30 odd six out, and we can see it affects our carrying capacity as well. So we're just going to reselect those. There we go. So now we're just going to select our sights here. And we're going to take the shotgun scope. And like I said, it, it's a little bit to it's a little bit to scroll back up, but once you come back in here and you just want something specific, then it makes the world of difference. It makes it so much easier. So we're going to hunt some mule deer some elk uh, and we're going to take the turkey collars with us. And so now you see we're getting up there and wait and we're going to take our scent eliminator. So there we go. So now I have everything in my inventory that I that I wanted to select. I can just double check really quick. I can go and now I can just select and go okay hey I got my I got my four weapons that I wanted. Uh, and I can just press over to the right and I can go, okay, do I have all my ammo I wanted? Yes, I have it. And that's why we kind of close these things so that we can just take a quick glance of what we have in our inventory. Now, say for example, I wanted to, I don't know, carry something else. Uh, there's a little workaround that we can do. So if you notice, if I wanted to carry the 223, it show, automatically shows me how much extra weight I'm going to carry. So let's just take the 223. I can't. But what you can do is you can grab the the backpack. You can select small. You can go to storage. You can hit the 223. Go back to your character. Take the backpack off. It's going to tell you it's going to put some items in. But look at our weight, our carrying capacity without any penalty is 21.51. So we're we're pounding a bit over. It's a little bit of a glitch. If you want to say it's cheating, it's cheating, that's fine. Um, I don't do it, but if you wanted to do that, you could as well. So we're just going to take that 223 out because we don't need it. you got to remember too, we've only got 10 inventory slots. 
uh, when we go to our inventory. So let's get out of here and let's sort this now. So we uh, press our um, touchpad on our PlayStation 4, press circle, go down to our inventory, and now we're going to select our weapons. So uh, beginner mistake or something that I've learned is I used to select all of the weapons right away. I used to select, you know, the uh, I used to go there and then press over, go down, select the next rifle, go down, select that. The problem, the reason why that's kind of a mistake, you want to set up your whole gun right away. And the reason why I say that is now when I go and I select ammo, and I hit the 30 odd six, it's going to go to the last thing that I touched, which was the shotgun. And now I got to press up and select that. But if we go over here, and we're just going to unequip all of this. Unequip. Now we're going to start from fresh. We're going to go to weapons. Now watch this. If we go to coachmate, uh, take our uh, 4570, and now I select the ammo for that. Okay. It goes right to the gun right away. If I press, now I want the the sight, it goes right to the gun right away. So I, says, I suggest setting up each weapon right away. You'll see we're going to set up the M1. We're going to take our um, polymer tips. Then I go down to the sights and grab my sight and, and grab it. So you have to keep pressing over on the D-pad to go and select everything that you want. But once again, it's actually a little quicker doing it this way. Select our ammo again for our shotgun. We're going to use birdshot. And we're going to put the sight on it right away. And last but not least is our bow. And we're going to take we're going to use that for bison and elk. So now we're going to take our lures and we're just going to press. Um, you just keep continually press over to the uh, left is what you do. Once you've selected something and you want to go back, you just have to press over to the left and then you got to press down to select the slot. And last but not least, we're going to take our scent eliminator. So that's all good and fine. Everything's in our inventory. So let's go out. Now, the problem with the way that we have it set up, though, is that if I wanted to use it, um, if you remember from our last video, we can press up to do our quick select of our inventory and scroll over. But how do you know which is which, unless you have a really good memory? How do you know which color is which, especially when you're trying to do your hunt? So. Um, I like to set it up so that I can remember what I have and what I normally do and my tip is to set it up to what you're hunting. So for example, uh, I'm always going to set up, um, I'm always going to put my bow beside my binoculars. That way I can range it. Uh, I can go right from doing my range finding to selecting my bow. So I can range that animal down there. I want to range that pronghorn and I want to take him with my bow. Now I can select my bow quick and it's right there. I know what range I need to select for my um, zero wing perk. And I kind of do the same with all the other weapons now. So for example, I know I'm going to be hunting mule deer, so I'm just going to take the mule deer collar and I'm going to move it to where the M1 is right now. But I'm also going to want to use the M1 for mule deer. So I'm going to put that under the deer bleak collar. And I can also use the M1 for elk. So I'm going to move the elk collar right underneath the M1. Now I can also use the coach mate. I usually use the coach mate for, you know, protection against bison, but I also use it to hunt elk with sometimes. Um, so I'm going to select that and I'm going to put it right underneath my elk collar. And now for my shotgun, uh, I'm going to want to set my my locator call for turkey. I want to set that ahead of my shotgun. So now I'm just going to leave the rest the way it is. So now if you look at my inventory, I have my my binoculars, which is which is going to help me range find. It's going to give me my bow. Uh, and well, actually, let's go out and see how it looks practically. How about we do that? So now we have our so we have our binoculars. So we can range find, and we can go right to our bow. 
Um, but then I don't want to, I'm not going to take him with the bow. I want to shoot him with my M1. So I know that I have a collar in between my bow, that's my uh, mule deer collar, and then I have my M1. And if all of a sudden an elk popped up around the hill and I wanted to call the elk, now I can go from my M1 to my elk collar, and I can bugle the elk, and I can either go to my I can either go to my 4570 from there, or I can go to my M1, whichever one I want to take it with. And then I know that after my M1, I have my turkey locator call, so I can locate my turkey. and then I have my shotgun, and then I have my uh, collar to call them in. So if you set it up in groups of how you're going to be hunting, it actually makes setting up your inventory easy and it makes it easy to remember. Sometimes I use the scent eliminator because, the, because of the different icon. Sometimes I set the scent eliminator in between a set of collars. It just makes it easy to remember what you have where. So anyways, friends, this has been, uh, that's our video for today. Those are the few tips and tricks that we can share. Uh, hopefully it helps you out. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Um, uh, if you have any suggestions for videos down below or any comments, please use the comment section down below. Anyways, once again, this has been Vietelski for Call of the Wild tutorial videos. I hope you enjoyed and happy hunting.